30 years ago, when I met Professor Slavicek in New York on an advanced course, I was fascinated by his teaching. Everything he taught us was really unique, logical, and refreshing. So, since then, I developed a method of treatment for improving therapeutic position for customized for each patient. I named this method control mandibular repositioning. The success rate for treating temporomandibular disorder, or if you prefer complex cases, increased from 60% to 95%. All of you know that from our initial um, examination and from the small clinical functional analysis and the large functional clinical analysis, we must make a diagnosis. This di diagnosis can be of normalcy, or it can be a neuromuscular disorder case, or it can be an internal derangement case, or it can be a degenerative joint disease case. So uh, everything is a matter of diagnosis to orient our treatment plan. Aside from normalcy, all the other categories need an initial therapy before going to definitive therapy. For neuromuscular disorder cases, most of the time we use a myopathic splint. For internal derangement cases, because we have a structural change within the joint, we should not use a myopathic splint, but use a therapeutic position to improve joint uh, physiology. So the same applies to degenerative joint disease. Degenerative joint disease is an alteration of joint structure of the condyle and of the eminentia. There are um, structural changes within the joint. So we should use a therapeutic position instead of using only a myopathic splint because it is not only a muscle problem, this is a structural problem. As Professor Slavicek taught us, there is a difference between muscle problems, which can bring on long-term structural changes. So a therapeutic position will take care of structural changes better than a myopathic splint only can do. This is why uh, for internal derangement, such as reducible joint luxation, non-reducible joint luxation, and in degenerative joint disease cases, such as arthrosis and arthritis, I highly recommend a therapeutic position instead of using only a myopathic splint. The efficiency of the therapy will be improved greatly. The CMR method is 25 years old, and the statistics show that we can decrease the sensitivity to palpation within two hours by 95%. So, the CMR program will show you everything you need to master the control mandibular repositioning method. The CMR program includes hands-on on dysfunctional patients, hands-on on muscle palpation, hands-on on uh, cardiography interpretation, and also hands-on on cephalometrics. You are, of course, invited to bring your own patients. The control mandibular repositioning method is a consequence of our initial diagnosis for dysfunctional patients and is a part of your visit education.